With radiant sun, a long dry summer, and cooling evening fog, Sonoma boasts perfect growing conditions for a great mix of varieties beautifully expressive of their place in the region. One of North America's most active fault lines, the San Andreas Fault, marks Sonoma's western border, lifting a rugged wall of mountains from the cold Pacific Ocean to define its coastline. A mix of volcanic soils, uplifted ancient seabeds, and metamorphic rock can be found through the area for a truly diverse mix of soils. To the west, Sonoma greets daily cooling fog from the ocean. These cooler parts of the county are perfect for growing Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. The soil types and the elevations and the proximity to the coast gives me the ability to be creative and experimental with the varietals that we work with. We have choices of where to grow things and how to put the right thing in the right place. I love wine because I believe that farming for wine is the perfect balance of passion, art, and science. It's an art because the biggest variables are always weather and people and the tools you have to get through the vintage. No vintage is ever the same. We're crafting something that doesn't have to follow a rule book. And you're, you're crafting something that's unique to not just the vineyard, not just the winemaker, but to the region. Moving north and east, Sonoma County warms, celebrating beautiful sun-kissed days. Merlot and Sauvignon Blanc enjoy the transition from cool to slightly warmer zones. Zinfandel and Cabernet Sauvignon love the warmest stretches to the east and in the north. And Syrah can be found throughout the county for a full range of styles. It's a fortunate thing as a hospitality professional that we have an opportunity to share all these different flavors so that we can find the perfect one for our guests. And one of the greater things that we found is the legacy of families that live in Sonoma County. It's a beautiful place to not only raise a family, but to visit as a family. The dinner table is a very special place in Sonoma County where families get together to share wine that's been grown and crafted by families here, along with food from great restaurants and chefs who have grown up with these wines and all the wonderful produce. I love hosting visitors to Sonoma County so I can see these places through their eyes. Being part of a family winery in Sonoma is something I take a lot of pride in and something that I think my peers and I look for the very long term. So when we make business decisions, we think in, yes, the five and the 10 and the 15 year, but we also think about 100 years from now. There are people in my generation who are maybe second, third, fourth, or even fifth generation vintners taking over their family companies. We have new, vibrant, up-and-coming winemakers and growers that are pushing the boundaries of what we're already doing here. It means a tremendous amount to me to be part of a family winery. The first thought that comes to my mind is legacy. The community of winemakers in Sonoma is amazing. We all want to see each other succeed because we know that it means better things for the county of Sonoma, for our culture of wines. When I think of sustainability, I think of all of the efforts that it takes to ensure that a family business is going to be passed down from generation to generation in a way that allows it to succeed into the future and to really build on what's been accomplished. I'm a born and raised Californian. There's a lot to love about it. In Sonoma County, we've got these incredible picturesque beaches, oak and redwood studded mountains, beautiful valleys to explore. It almost seems like you're looking at a postcard. Having spent the past 23 years farming in Sonoma County, I feel more committed than ever to agriculture as a way of life for me. I want to see this little corner of the world that I'm responsible for continue to thrive for generations to come. <laughs>